I'm supposed to be really excited to show you this video, but I had to re-record the whole thing because there's a damn setting in QuickTime that defaults to the wrong microphone, and I did another one of those mute videos like my Stephanie Hans box video. So you don't get to see me opening it, you don't get to see the excitement, but I'm going to try to fake as much excitement as I can for you to see my video on the mystery box I got from Adrian APM. <laughs> Right. Shipped out on Monday morning. Got it today. Spent $100 in the mystery box. I usually don't buy mystery boxes um, because they're just not worth it. I mean, even if you get the value that you expect to get from what you pay, it's a mystery box. It means you don't know what you're getting and your chances of getting, um, of getting the book that you want is not very high. So even if you get the value that you think you deserve, you might not get the book you want, and then that value is just an ethereal amount that's listed on, on eBay or, you know, Key Collector or what or Overstreet or what have you. So I don't usually do it, um, but I did this one for two reasons. Uh, why the last man number one was in there as a possibility, posted on the Instagram that showed off the mystery boxes. So I was like, okay, I will take the risk because even if I don't get that Grail goal. Um, I will be happy or at least okay with what I got. So first off, um, he said that the value of each box would be between 80 and 200, I think, and you had to pay 100 shipped for that. So you're basically $85 plus shipping. Um, came in this, I think this is probably a repurposed spider band booth box. I'm not positive on that. So what it looks like, um, or at least it's from the same company as Spider-Man and Booth. Uh, so it came with this, and it says, Hello there, you groovy jelly bean. Reading right across here. Thanks for picking up the Solid High the Comic Guy Mystery Box 2.0. This box is a little different from my usual style of boxes and more true to the original style of a mystery box. Each box contains a slab, but unlike other boxes, I want you to look at the slab first. I guaranteed each box would be at least 80 in value and have 5 to 10 raw comics. Instead, all the boxes have a value of over $100 and 10 raw comics in each. I don't know if he added that or if he intended that in the first place. That's interesting. I hope you enjoy your mystery box. Surprise! Everyone who bought a box is getting entered to win an additional raw comic mystery box from me. Yay! So, um, the slab was in two, and everything in here was packed really well. The slab was in two mailers, um, and when I opened it up, these fell out, which I think are awesome. Rick and Morty sticker. This I love. <laughs> Futurama. And a little flash. Come on in. Well, can I, can you wait a few seconds? You can stay here. I'm just going to run through this quick. So we got Marvel Chillers, Modred the Mystic, uh, issue two, which doesn't say anything in the Indica up here, but is the second appearance of Modred the Mystic. And I assume is the second appearance of the other, because the first appearance of the other is number one. Um, a small, small book in slab form, probably worth a bit more. Uh, but if the rumor that the other will be one of the bad guys after the Scarlet Witch in the WandaVision series. It might be a book to watch. I the other was in Endgame. It was in Avengers, the first one. My boy knows more. That's the Dungeon Talk. Come say hi, Dungeon Talk. Hello. That's the Dungeon Talk. Also part of CCR. I don't know. I pretend that's an R because I don't know how to do an R. C C R. Crazy Click Radio right there. What's up? Question? Um... Is 4K resolution high in terms of resolution? Yes, it is. It's kind of like the new next standard, um, the next highest thing. But a lot of places are pulling back on releasing in 4K because every media company out there is hurting for money right now. Okay. Thank okay. You. Cool. Bye. So we got this Joker. Um, you're the villain. This is a small key of some sort. This is a variant. So I'll put that at, at, at five bucks. I'm going to put that at fifty. Um, just because it's an 80 slab from a 25 center, and I'm just totally randomizing, you know, prices here. 50, um, 5, 55. I'll put this one at 50. First full appearance of Dylan Brock, and really want to harp home on this. 
there are so many variants now to like big books like Thor and Venom. For me, all that matters is down here is that one at the end, right? So reading from left to right, 009 is issue nine. The fourth variant, the higher that number is, the more rare the variant. Uh, first printing. Um, and this is from unknown comics, uh, comicbooks.com. A lot of uh, stores, I think, hop on to hot comics and produce an exclusive variant with an exclusive artist after the initial print run. And so that would be a one or a two or even higher. If that number there is not a one, I don't care, man. I don't care about a second print variant. You only are supposed to print a second print um, if the first print sold out unexpectedly. There should be no second prints of any Thor or Venom books at this point because you know how big they are. Print that much. It's a money grab and it pisses me off. Um, but, you know, that's that. Ooh, is there a ding? Or is that in the bag? That's in the bag. Okay, cool. Um, the bag has a ding, I believe. Anyway, um, I'm going to put that. Let's see if there's a ding now. Yeah, there's a ding. I don't know. It doesn't break color, so it can be pressed out. Um, I don't think we have ticks, but I'm going to, I was going to say this would be a $50 book. I'm going to put it at a $40 book um, now because of those two pressable defects. So 40 plus 50 for the slab. That might be reaching for the slab. Let's say 40 plus 40. 80, um, 85. This is a book that's easily, easily getting $15, $20. Um, the first appearance of Calvin, the second appearance, or first full appearance of Calvin Ellis, the Black Superman of Earth 23, um, rumored to be in an upcoming DC something. So let's do 15 for that because I want to be conservative. So 100. First Alex Ross cover in comic books. So I'll put that at 10, uh, 110. Secret Invasion, $5 book, so 115. Alpha Flight number one, 10 to $15 book. Um, and it looks like it is in really nice condition. So I'm gonna put that at 15, um, so 130 I think I'm up to. Bounty Hunters, I believe I have this. If not, I'm definitely keeping it because there's a first appearance of new Bounty Hunters and you know I love Star Wars. Uh, it's the A cover, but it's still really cool. So we'll put that at four bucks, 134. Uh, a 20 center Shazam, but um, not much else to it beyond that. So five bucks, uh, 139. A throwaway Batman New Laughs, $140. And a throwaway Spawn, $141. So. Any way you cut it, I think I got more than value. Majority of these books I will be uh, selling, and I have no shame in saying that. I know some people are not into the flipping game. Uh, you know, I was hoping for something. If I didn't get it, I was hoping to sell stuff. So I'll be hoping, I'll probably be holding on to this for sure. I'll be hoping to make my uh, money back on this box and maybe a little bit more, uh, which requires work and effort, but I don't mind putting in the work and the effort. If you watch my Tuesday night shows, I enjoy the hustle. I enjoy the fun of finding comics, selling comics, learning about comics, reading comics, uh, all that sort of stuff. All right. Uh, that's all I got to say. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you later.